Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I have for y'all another big old Shein haul. So this one's mostly about denim. So a lot of denim in this haul and I'm really excited to be working with them again. Shein did provide all of the clothes that you're gonna see in this video, but I picked them all out myself. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video, and let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started on the clothes, I just wanted to tell y'all thank you so much for reaching out to me and all your kind words and your prayers and everything as y'all know, or if you don't, um, about eight days ago, I was steaming the clothes for that haul. It was my last haul, which was a Shein haul. And I got to the last piece, which was this beautiful little pink dress and I guess my hands were wet or the the steamer was wet I'm not sure and it slipped it started to slip out of my hand and I had the dress in this hand the steamer in this hand and I went to just push it back into my hand with my side I don't know why I don't know how I did that or why and it just barely brushed against my, right under my rib cage. And I really didn't think much of it. A few seconds later, it started stinging a little bit, but nothing too bad. And I did the haul, filmed everything, got everything going. Well, that night it got really bad. And so it, it y'all, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> it was pretty gross. Um, so I had to work four 10 hour shifts the following day started four 10 hour shifts. So I was working with it like this and it just got worse and it was just awful. So I think now, now is the eighth day and I think that it's, I'm on the other side of it. So this is kind of what it looks like now, which is a thousand times better than it was a few days ago. <laughs> so I hope that doesn't gross y'all out, but it's right here at my side, kind of where, where your body bends. So it's been a rough patch. So I'm relying on argan oil. That's what I've been putting on it and Neosporin at night when I go to bed. And I, I'm pretty sure it's going to scar. Um, um, you can kind of tell that it's going to, but that doesn't matter. I'm just glad it's not hurting as bad as it was. But I just wanted to tell y'all, thank y'all and kind of explain what happened. But it was just a silly accident on my part. So if y'all use steamers, just be really careful. They're amazing for your clothes, but they do not feel good on your skin. <laughs> so like I said before, this is a denim focused haul. So there's a lot of denim in here and y'all know that I usually do dresses. I like the dressier side of life. <laughs> but y'all, I actually had a lot of fun putting this together. There was one pair of mom jeans Y'all, I love them. <laughs> They're distressed. I love them. Like, I just loved how I felt in them. But so, a lot of denim in this haul. A couple pairs of shorts, some jeans, a few tops to show y'all. So, we're just going to go right through it. But I did reuse a couple of pieces. I just didn't want to, you know, I don't need a whole lot of stuff. As y'all probably have guessed, I have plenty of stuff. So when Shein reached out to me about this haul, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of bottoms to show y'all, knowing that I could reuse some of the tops. So you, you'll see repeats of a couple of the shirts, but that's okay. So as, as I've been doing, I'm gonna show y'all some pictures and everything on this side with video of me wearing it. And then I'm gonna be here just talking about it. So the first pair of shorts in this haul, y'all, I love everything about them, but they're just too tight. I'm just going to be completely honest. So these are a 4XL and they are made up of cotton, polyester, and spandex. So these are the light wash. I'm going to put up the picture of how they look online. Then I'll put a picture of how they looked on me and then a video of me wearing them. So here they are right here. They're just a basic light wash denim and they have the distressing at the leg, functioning pockets on the back and on the front. And then you've got that regular one button with the zip up. I'll tell you the button is just hanging on by a prayer. Y'all can hear, it's just like, it's gonna come off. I was really worried because these are pretty snug. I went with the 4XL. They do have a little bit of stretch to them, but not enough in my opinion. So I, if these went in a 5XL, I'd be all over it because they are stretchy, 
but they just, they're just too tight in the lower belly. And I do have that problem a lot. That's why I usually steer clear of a lot of denim. So this was a true test for me because y'all are seeing it for the first time with me for the most part. And I, I, like I said, I love denim shorts. I love denim skirts. I always have. And they're really good to have, especially because it gets so hot here. But unfortunately, these just did not work because they're just too tight in the lower belly. The waist was great. The thighs were really comfortable. That's another thing. I think with the distressing at the thighs, it made them a little bit more roomy, but just the lower belly. I mean, if I were to wear a really big shirt and you couldn't see it, you know, I think it would be fine. If you see in the video, I kept pulling down the mustard tee and I try not to do that because I want y'all to see how things look, but sometimes, I don't know. I was feeling a little self-conscious in these shorts, just being honest with y'all. So that mustard BT I showed y'all in my last haul. So I'll link that down below too, but it's not really part of this haul. I just put it with this pair of shorts and the neck so that y'all could see them paired with something. But again, 4XL, but they're just a little bit too tight in the lower belly. If that doesn't bother you, go for it. They are stretchy. They're really nice. I just worry about that button. It may not make it past a few wears, especially being a little snug. Now these next shorts, they are the exact same makeup. I went with the 4XL. They're a cotton polyester spandex mix. They are a little bit longer of an inseam. So these come down a good bit longer down your thigh, almost to your knee. And they are very, very stretchy. So even though they're the same, everything as the ones you just saw, these are so, so stretchy and so comfortable. I am very happy with these. The button, they got the functioning pockets on the back, the front, and that button is good. So it's not hanging on by a thread, it is good. I love these jean shorts. They're very comfortable. I like the length of them too, because I have thighs for days and I don't want to layer anything under shorts. And I don't, I hate when your legs rub together and I will sometimes in dresses use the little deodorant trick and that works for me. That has always worked for me. Um, but in shorts, I hate how they start riding up and then your thighs are just on fire. It can be a hot, hot mess. <laughs> So for these, I'm glad, I'm thankful for the length of these because they're really comfortable and they're cute. I think they're really, really cute and you can put them with really anything, dress them up or dress them down. But I love these, highly recommend them, very stretchy, really good fit, comfortable. They're just comfortable and you don't have to worry about them riding up because they have that little cuff already made into them. They are just, they're really, really good jean shorts and I love them. So y'all, the next piece of denim in this haul are these white denim, denim jeans. So they're very, very thin. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, and I did pair them with the shirt that I have on. We'll talk about that in just a second. But these I went with the 4XL and they are cotton polyester spandex, just like the other ones. And I'm gonna tell y'all, pretty sheer. These are not completely see-through, but they are pretty sheer, especially in the light. You can see all my little dimples and rolls and, <laughs> I mean, we, you know, I have them, I own it. I don't care about that. But yet again, you can hear it. You can hear that button. I, I don't know. These are just very, very thin. They're not really that heavy or denim like the shorts that I showed y'all very thin material really comfortable though i actually like these they do hug my lower belly and they are pretty pretty thin not not completely 100 percent see-through but when i had them on you could see the pocket that's always a telltale sign when you can see the pocket through them you know you're going to see everything else so i think with the top that i paired it with for this one it was this peplum shirt i think it hid enough of it to where it was doable. It was it would work. So I think if you're gonna wear something a little bit longer, these would be fine, wouldn't really have any issue. The length is perfect. I'm five six. I love the length of these. The fit around the knees are not too tight. They're just beautiful as far as from a distance or in pictures or if you don't pay very much attention. But if I were to pull my shirt up and go right out in the sun, you would see all of my business. I'm just saying. But, you know, 
white pants white pants are very tricky and i've been for years looking for a good pair of white denim jeans and i've yet to find them where you can't see everything through them i don't know these aren't my favorite but i mean they would do they would work i could make them work but i think i'm just gonna keep keep looking as far as white denim goes i'm just gonna keep on the hunt for that I paired it with this navy blue peplum floral top. So this one I went with the 4XL and it is 100% polyester. Has a little bit of stretch to it. It does have a higher crew neck and then those little roughly flutter butterfly sleeves. Very, very comfortable. One thing I want y'all to keep in mind, if you don't like when you lift up your arm to be able to see everything under here, you may not like this when it comes down pretty low under your arms. So you could always pair a little camisole underneath this or put a little cardigan over top if you need to. But I do like when they have a lower armhole, like a bigger armhole like this, I will always put something underneath it. I just don't want to lift my arms and everything shows. I try to point stuff like that out because it could be a deal breaker for some people, especially if you're wanting to wear it to work. You don't want to lift your arms and your bra and everything else is showing. So just keep that in mind, bigger armholes, but everything else in this top is just beautiful. I love the pattern. It's just gorgeous and very, very comfortable and lightweight enough to go into the warmer seasons. And now the next piece of denim is this denim blouse. Y'all, I love a good denim blouse and I paired it with a t-shirt. We're gonna talk about the t-shirt that you're gonna see in the pictures in the video here, the Country Roads, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit because I pair it with something else. But for this, I wanted to put it with the white jeans in my, my head. I was going to tie the denim shirt up like I do in a lot of my stuff, but those white jeans were just a little too see-through for me to be comfortable doing that. So I opted for layering on this one. But for this top, I went with the 3XL and it's a cotton polyester mix. Like I said, I love a good denim shirt love denim shirts. <laughs> I have like four of them, but I needed another one because one of them, I think I got bleach or something on it and messed it all up. So this top is just your basic blouse. You have your collar, it's button front. It's just simple, easy. You could always tie it up, leave it unbuttoned, button it, tuck it in, leave it out, however you want to do it. You have so many options with denim tops. The only thing I don't love about it are those clear buttons. I don't like those shiny plastic clear buttons. Um, I could easily change those out. Buttons are like the easiest thing in the world to change, but I really love this with the white denim. I like the layered look on this one, but y'all, you cannot go wrong with a denim shirt. I cannot tell y'all enough. I think last, last spring maybe, I paired a shirt just like this with a green polka dot dress and y'all loved it. These make really good toppers for sundresses if you don't like if you like the feel of a sundress with the little spaghetti straps or the small straps put one of these on top of it tied at the waist or just leave it open not everybody is comfortable showing everything but why pass up on a beautiful sundress when you could just put a little shirt over it and be comfortable and be cool and just i love it so highly recommend you have a denim shirt in your closet because you could pair it with I've paired it with a black pencil skirt. I'll try to find that picture and put it up here. It's by far one of my favorite looks I have ever done, ever, hands down. Denim shirt with a black pencil skirt. It's really nice for business. You could pair this with white jeans, go out for the spring, do some Easter, something, whatever. Put it with a sundress. So many options, y'all, with this basic denim shirt. So now I wanted to talk about that Country Roads shirt that y'all just saw. Um, I love this shirt. If y'all remember, I have this one, I think in a purple mauve, I think in a dark green. I have, I think two of these already, but when I saw this color, I had to have this one. But it's just your basic t-shirt. She makes really, really good t-shirts. Just watch for the fabric content because sometimes they can have like pure polyester and they can be a little bit silky. This one, I went with the 3XL. It is 55% cotton and then polyester. So as long as you've got more cotton than anything in it, it's gonna be really comfortable. Stretchy, really soft. Again, I went with the 3XL. I think in one of the other colors I have, I went with the 4XL and it was way too big. So for this one, it's just perfect. I love these t-shirts. 
It is soft as can be and I just love it. And it's just Country Rose, Take Me Home. I love this shirt. Like I said, I have a few of them. But the prize piece in this whole look, I know that they will not be for everybody. I can hear some people now saying that they do not like these jeans. <laughs> I do. I love these jeans. And while I was filming the trial and portion for this video, I went ahead and filmed the trial and portion for another smaller video that I'm working for, for a brand I've never worked with before. And I needed some jeans to go with the tops and I had to wear these, y'all. I love these jeans and we sell mom jeans at work and I've always just kind of been like, who would want to wear those? <laughs> Apparently I do. And so for these, I went with the 4XL and they are a cotton polyester mix. So these are some heavyweight denim. They are beautiful. I love these. And again, completely out of my usual, what I normally like and normally buy. I will say the waist is a little bit snug. So there's no spandex in these, kind of like the other ones are, are cotton, spandex, polyester. This does not have the spandex in it, and there is no stretch or give in this. Um, I think that the thighs, you know, they're cut a wider, wider thigh, wider calf. They're just more of a straight, wider cut. That's the mom jean. Um, they are distressed, so they have a lot of distressing around the knee and the thigh, and I think that kind of loosens them up a little bit, too but they are a little on the snug side in the waist. So I love these. I'm gonna have to check. I don't think they come in a 5XL. I don't think. Shein does offer 5XL every now and then. And I'm telling y'all, if I go on there and I see if they got a 5XL, I'm getting some more of these. <laughs> Even though I can wear these comfortably, I will be wearing these. I would like to have a little bit more room right in the waist because there's just no give in these. And for this style jean, it would be okay to go a little bit bigger, I think, if you wanted to, to have more of a relaxed fit. But y'all, I'm obsessed with these jeans. I feel good in them, and that's really all that matters. So they may not be for everybody, but I feel good in these. I feel like I look good in them. <laughs> so in my mind, I do. And I just love these. I'm so happy with them. Like I said, I'm going to check and see if they have a 5XL. And, you know, we're just going to go from there. But I love these. These are definitely going to be a staple in my looks for spring. So now for the next look, I'm going to go ahead and show you the top first because I'm going to pair that with some black jeans later on in this haul. So this one is, I went with the 4XL and it is 100% cotton. And this is one of the Emery Rose pieces. It's got that beautiful, I'm going to try to show you up close. Look at this, the threading on this. It is gorgeous. So it is lined so it won't be scratchy. Sometimes that embroidery can get a little scratchy. But that is gorgeous, and you have the same around the waist. I'll tell y'all, I should have gone with a 3XL. You just never know sometimes, and a lot of this stuff didn't have reviews when I first ordered it. So this one definitely size, don't size up, I guess I would say. I don't think that I would have gone with a 2XL, but definitely a 3, just because this one in the waist is pretty big. So you have a lot of room, and then you have that pleating in the waist underneath too. So I didn't need that much extra room. So I definitely am gonna look to see if this is available in a 3XL still, cause it is absolutely gorgeous. So for this one, I paired it with a pair of jeans that y'all have seen, the black ones, the dark wash ones, and now I have blue. These are just called blue. That's the color. <laughs> so for these, I went with a 4XL and these are a cotton polyester mix. Now, I, if y'all remember, I've shown y'all these so many times. They're so, so, so stretchy. You have your pockets on the back. They do have a, a zipper on the side. And from what I've seen online, that's most people's biggest complaint is why have a zipper on it. You don't need a zipper, honestly. It's just more of a nuisance than anything. So on the left side, you do have a zipper. I have not had to use those. I just wiggle them right up. The flare on these jeans gorgeous. So y'all, like I said, this is the third pair of these that I have. I love them and they have that raw hem on them. And I spoke about this before and I'm going to tell y'all again, if you are shorter than me, cause these do drag the ground. Most flare jeans are going to drag the ground no matter what, but if you're a little bit shorter, all you have to do, get you some sharp scissors, pull them out, 
cut them to the length that you need or a little bit below, a little bit longer, and then just pull this out just a little bit, just to kind of fray those edges. You will never be able to tell that you cut them. I'm telling y'all, I've had to do that before and it works. Just watch, be mindful of the seam right here and the seam on this side. Just kind of watch that, don't cut into it too much. I would say just cut right in this part. Nobody's gonna know, nobody's gonna be at your feet examining. So you could always just cut off a little bit of extra length if you want to makes all the difference in the world because everybody should be able to enjoy a good pair of flare jeans and these just get them because they are beautiful now the next look in this haul y'all the jeans are <laughs> gorgeous but i'm going to talk about the top first so for this top i went with the 4xl and it is just your sleeveless button-up blouse and I'll tell y'all, this is a thicker material. It is white, but you cannot see right through it. As y'all can see, you can't see through this. So you just have your really basic collar neckline with the button front, and then you have this beautiful floral pattern. I love this pattern. I think it's gorgeous. Again, a heavier weight. It is a little bit longer of a length. So you could tie this one up if you wanted to. You can leave it unbuttoned. You could button it, tuck it in. Whatever you want to do with it, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I will point out to y'all too that this one does have pretty big armholes. So again, if you worry about that, that showing too much underneath your arms, just put on some kind of little camisole underneath and nobody will ever know. Now, the jeans that I paired with that shirt that we just saw are these double button. Y'all, I'm in love with buff <laughs> with these pants between these and the mom jeans i am just obsessed i love them i'm gonna become like a casual person before you know it um so these you have these double buttons down the front i have wanted jeans like these forever but they're usually really expensive or really hard to find because they're almost like sailor jeans and i just love them i love the button detail but these, y'all, you've got that panel both sides unbuttoned if you need it to, but I just did one side and put them on. You have pockets on each side, functioning pockets on each side. You have seams down the back and the front. I'm gonna show you, these are, these are pretty big. So you have that flare. Now I'll tell you, when you're first putting them on, I was worried they were gonna be too big and that's not a problem that I usually have with their denim, um, as we've seen on here today, but they do feel they're very, very heavy, very thick denim. But once you get them on, they just fit beautifully. So I would not have sized down when I first started putting them on. I was thinking these are huge, but I think it's just because of that panel in the front. Now you can probably hear the buttons. They're not as bad as some, but they do rattle just a little bit. But y'all, these are such beautiful jeans absolutely gorgeous i feel like they don't hug my lower belly like a lot of them do because they're not exactly flat front but these are just beautiful they're wide leg just gorgeous sailor jeans and they have the double buttons and they're just beautiful so comfortable they're not too long they're actually a really good length so i mean again i'm five six and i show you in the video they are not too long they're just beautiful. Just get them. I mean, there's no pockets on the back, so they're just solid on the back except for the seam that goes down the middle on each side. But y'all, gorgeous, heavy duty, very well made. You need them in your life. You need them in your closet right now. <laughs> so for the last actual piece in this haul that, that I am pleased with, because I'm going to have to end this haul with two pieces that just did not work. But, and normally I like to leave on a high note and, you know, just know that sometimes things don't work. Sometimes things are broken when you get them, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. But the last look that I put together in this haul is going to be that same white emery rose top that we've already seen and talked about. And I paired it with these black flare jeans. Now I went with the 4XL in these and they are a cotton polyester mix. Y'all love these but i'm going to tell you you better wash them and then wash them again because they have that really strong dye smell i've talked about that on here anytime you get a dark rinse or a black pair of denim 
a lot and it does not matter who you buy them from i've gotten them really expensive ones i've gotten them from shein i've gotten all everything in the middle and they all have that same smell so you're going to definitely have to wash these because you do not want that dye to get on your legs it will stain your legs until you shave them and it is weird so <laughs> for these just your basic one button zipper pockets on the front pockets on the back very stretchy as y'all can see the stretch in these very very stretchy so comfortable i was a little bit worried they were going to be tight around the knee and they're not they are just the perfect flare i love these but again you're going to have to wash them a few times to get that dye smell out but y'all totally worth it they are beautiful comfortable stretchy so if you need a good pair of black flares i would say either go with these or go with the black version of the blue basically pull on flares that i showed y'all earlier because they're probably two of the most comfortable flare jeans that i have ever had and i got them the first time around in the 90s so you know i know my flares <laughs> so like i said i have two pieces left for this haul that y'all this one right here this is pitiful <laughs> go ahead and tell you. so i'm gonna put the picture up of what it looked like online y'all so i went with the 4xl in this one and let me just get the the little tag so i can tell y'all so this one is cotton elastane mix so this is the denim and eyelash lace dress when i took it out of the package i was like maybe they sent me a 2xl <laughs> because let me just show y'all look at the waist look at the waist on this thing so the waist is pretty pretty it does stretch but it's pretty tight the arms and i show y'all in the video portion of this the arms are so tight so tight so when i ordered this there were no reviews and so after i tried this on yesterday i think i tried it on for the first time yesterday maybe the day before and there were a couple of reviews on there and every one of them talked about how small this dress was. I have never, I mean, based on the measurements for the 4XL, this should have been a perfect fit or a little bit too big for me. But y'all, this thing is pitiful. I love the eyelash lace. I love the light chambray color. I just, I do. I love those parts of it, but the fit, the cut of this is completely off. You've got this tiny little cuff right here at the wrist. The sleeves are so tight when you get it on, which is weird because you have the faux wrap at the top, which should give you more room to move. But the kicker on this dress is that ruffle at the bottom. The ruffle at the bottom is so tight that your waist is cinched in with that, that ruching or cinching or smocking and then you've got your hips that kind of go here and then that ruffle so it almost looks like like a i don't <laughs> like a parachute or like a diaper or something it's the weirdest fit for a dress i have ever seen in my life and i have tried some some i've had some duds at times and this one's definitely up there because for a 4xl this should have been an easy fit this should have been simple this dress is not it. I don't know what measurements they were following. It's almost like they had a few pieces for a 2XL and a couple of pieces for a 4XL and they just stuck them together because it's a mess. I do not recommend this dress at all, especially after seeing that other people had the same problem, the same feedback. This is just a mess for me. Just, mm -mm, just skip it. Now, the last piece for this haul, so again, this is another dud. Um, and it would be beautiful. So I'm going to put the picture of what it looks like online and then I'm going to show you the video of me wearing it. So once I got it, when I got it on, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, I think I just got a defect. I think, so when I took it out of the package, I don't know if it was returned and they just didn't check it or if it was like this and they just sent it to me. Um, so the side zipper, <laughs> um, as y'all can see, see the zipper is completely split here i have tried everything i have looked on pinterest i tried everything so i can get it up here but then it's just 
it's offline. Like, it just will not work. I read so many different things on how to fix this, and I just could not get it to fix. I couldn't get it to go down. It won't budge, and then there's all these, like, the strings are coming out. So, I don't know what happened with this one, but like I said, so I went with a 4XL, and this one is a cotton polyester elastane mix. With it on, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful skirt. It's perfect pencil skirt. It's not too tight at the knees. It's a beautiful fit. Just mine is broken. And that stinks because I was really looking forward to this. I love a good pencil skirt and I don't have a denim one. And I thought that this would be perfect, but there's not, there's nothing I can do about this. I am not a professional seamstress. I can mend stuff and I can do little things that my grandmama taught me, but stuff like this is kind of out of my realm of expertise. <laughs> so, and then another problem I had was the belt. I didn't really understand the belt. So, God, and I love this. I love this skirt so much. So, this is what you get. So, there's that piece here and then the other side of the belt. So, I didn't know, like, this moves. So, I wasn't sure where this really goes like did it go in here I couldn't get it to stay so I don't know how I'm supposed to do that <laughs> maybe that's broke too I don't know but y'all again I would not say don't get this skirt because the fit is beautiful everything about it is beautiful when you get it on the way it hugs your curves it's stretchy it's comfortable but mine is just broken so I don't want to say don't get it because it's beautiful, but I just hope that if you do get it, you have one that is not broken like I do. It's just really unfortunate, but it does happen. Sometimes things just don't get caught in quality control or whatever, and, you know, so I just happened to get one that was not right. So that is all I have for y'all today in this haul. And I hope that y'all like some of these pieces. I still cannot get over how happy I am about those mom jeans. I just love them. Those and the double button, y'all. I love them. It's so fun to try different things that are out of my normal, what I usually show y'all. So when Shein reached out to me about this denim project, I was really excited because I do buy denim here and there, but you know, it's good to have those pieces in your closet and I do wear them. I don't wear dresses every day because I work and you know, sometimes you just don't feel like dressing up. So a lot of times I have tons of stuff to wear for dressing up or wearing a dress or a skirt or an out, you know, something kind of nice. I don't have a whole lot of everyday wear. So it's really nice to add those pieces in and mix them and match them with the stuff that I already have. So a huge thank you to Shein for again, sending these items to me. There is a coupon code in the description box down below, along with all of the links, my measurements, everything that you could possibly need is down in the description box below. But y'all again, thank you so much for reaching out to me. And I'm so glad that this is on the mend and I'll be back to normal here pretty soon. I'm glad I was able to pull this together finally. And I just, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all have all been so nice to me and I just love y'all. So again, thank you for spending your time with me. And until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon.